going, guys and girls? Welcome to the channel. So continuing on with the mini tub job that we're doing on this HZ Holden, we are going to be doing the infill pieces on the chassis rails and doing the reinforcement. So yeah, make sure you stick around and uh, watch the video closely. And uh, yeah, I'll run you guys through the process. And yeah, hope you enjoy it. Cheers. So I've made a start on some of the chassis reinforcement plates. And the ones I'm going to fit first are these ones here which these will go at the front of the rail on the exterior. So that's them there. That's um, three mil plate, obviously rolled into shape or bashed into shape in the vise, either or either. As you can see, I've tried to make them uh, curve a little bit, but when they're clamped into place, that'll be fine. Um, I'll just jump underneath the car and I'll show you guys where they go. All right, so not the best lighting under here, but where that text the line is just there, that's where that plate will just go. So that'll beef up this area again. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do these ones first because if I have any protective coatings or anything like that um, on the inside, when all of that's all filled in and then I go and weld this one on first, it's obviously gonna burn all that stuff off. So I'm gonna slap these plates on first. That's where the other one goes. So yeah, like I said, not going to burn any uh, protective coatings or anything off, so I'll do the exterior um, rail reinforcements first. Um, and yeah, then probably after that I'll probably look at putting something in the back just there. Not sure if you can see that text line. But yeah, anyway, that's, um, that's where I'm at. I'm going to clean these areas up now and uh, probably whip this wheel off. And then yeah, I'll drag the welder under here and get them buzzed in. All right, so I've got my areas all prepped up, ready to be welded on. That's uh, that fella over there, hiding behind the um, upper control arm mount. That one there. And because what I'm welding is three mil to 1.6, I've just gone out to the scrap yard and I've got some similar material. So it's a bit of 1.6 and that's uh, just a little bit of an offcut of this. So I've cleaned them up. Um, and now I'm going to set the welder up, get them welding all right, and then hopefully get those um, little strengthening plates in. Alrighty. So here's my test welds. That's the setting that I chose to, to actually weld on the car. That one came back with some pretty good results, I thought. So that's the penetration. Again, that's, um, that's 1.6 on the bottom. On top is a bit of three mil. So yeah, that's um, pretty good results in my opinion. And uh, just give me a second and I'll climb under the car. All right, so we're under the car. Got me handy torch. That one's tacked in and all the plug welds done. It's nothing too flash. That side turned out a little bit nicer with the plug welds. I had a little bit more trouble with this side. I think just because um, must have been holding the, the torch on a little bit of an angle. Um, so some of those plug welds are a little bit, how are you going? But they'll stick, they burnt through on the other side, so I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously that's going to get um, fully welded. I'm probably going to leave that top join uh, unwelded just for now. Just because when the car goes on the rotisserie, I think that'll be a little bit easier to just uh, um, zap them up, zap up that join. But yeah, I'm going to finish up through, um, through these joins or at least through there. But yeah, I'll leave um, up through here for um, for when the car's on its side, just because it will be a little bit easier to weld. It's a bit of a prick to get in there at the moment. Um, yeah, I think they should do the job. All right, we're rolling. So, majority of that's all welded in. Like I said, apart from that little top part, but I'm gonna weld that once the car is on the rotisserie. Not too bad, not the prettiest of welds. Um, I won't claim that I'm the, the greatest welder in the world, but I mean, it's, it is what it is really. It's not gonna fall off in a hurry. There's plenty of burn through on the other side, so I'll chalk that up as a win. That'll get a little bit of a knockback with the grinder anyway. And I mean, if there's anything that I'm kind of suspect, I'll just re-weld it, so. Yeah, it's um, it's all right, I suppose. This side's a little bit, bit more crappier, but it's uh, very awkward to weld underneath, underneath here, and um, you know, being in a bit of a confined space, nothing really to balance yourself on or have the best access on anything. So 
Yeah, I actually had some porosity pop through on that bottom edge of the weld just there, so I ended up just running another little weld straight over the top. Um, hopefully that should grind back a little bit. Um, what I do want to do is, is I want to blend this in just a little bit, so really the only parts that you actually see that are welded are through here once that's done and a little bit through here and here. That'll just look like another part of the rail and um, yeah, that's that little um, recess that they have, which I think is for the um, bar control arm part. This car will have tubular arms in it, so there should be plenty of clearance there. So we're going to get stuck into the reinforcements of the rear of the rail now, the exterior ones, so the ones that go in between the rails. So back on this side of the rail, if I can get my hand on it. Now what I've got is a bit of cardboard. Now that's not going to have a whole lot of strength, but it's the shape that I need. So I've already had that sitting up in the rail. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a look at that, but yeah, I've just transferred that um, onto the three mil plate that I got. So I'll get them whipped out and then I'll show you where the bit of cardboard goes and then I'll start uh, bringing these into the correct um, curvature, I suppose you'd call it. Um, and yeah, shouldn't take me too long to whip these ones out. Alrighty, so underneath the car, this is where that plate will go. So all the way back there, up until there, and it'll be plug welded all the way along and then stitched. Again, just like the front, I'll probably stitch it as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I'll probably finish off this part of it when it's on the rotisserie. So just make life a little bit easier for myself. Because I mean, yeah, this car's gonna go on a rotisserie after it's had the tub work done and stuff. And obviously I'll pretty it up all underneath, so. Yeah, I'll uh, finish the welding off then. But yeah, that's um, that's how that one will fit up. And um, yeah, I've just got the bits of three mil um, clamped in the vise, and I'll show you a little bit more about that next. Alrighty, so everything starts from CAD, which is cardboard aided design. That's just that's what that is, and then we transfer it to the sheet of steel, and we cut it out. And then basically what I'll do after that is I'll clamp it all together um, as best as I can and then I'll put two Clecos in it and then I'll grind them down simultaneously and then um, I'll run the file over it so everything's all um, all flat and level and uh, yeah both the same either side that kind of thing. Another thing that I thought I'd mention is these radiuses on the edge, um, I don't put them there because they're pretty. That's like a strength sort of thing. Um, if you have, if that was this cut straight and if the car was in an accident or something like that, that would give something for the existing um, part of the rail to break around. You put a radius on it and it's less likely to, um, to really break on that joint and sort of bend it like an elbow sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's the reason for them. And basically what I did was, was I got my weld through primer can and I basically just sat them on the cardboard template like that. And that's what gives me my radiuses. So yeah, that's just another little tip. Um, you can use whatever. I've used coins, um, cutting discs, grinding discs, Coke cans. Um, yeah, anything really. Um, as long as it's round, you can use it for that purpose. So um, yeah, just another little tip. Alrighty. So we've got them all made up. Got the other side done as well. I'm gonna go along and I'm gonna drill all my plug weld holes and then I'm gonna clean up um, the scale off this, weld through prime, and then also clean up the, the rail and weld, weld through prime that. Swing you around. Got this side done as well. So again, that'll have the same sort of treatment done to it with the plug weld holes and clean it all up, weld through prime it. Get it all ready and um, yeah, and we're uh, ready to start buzzing them in. Alrighty, so I've got those bits all prepped up. They're all ready to go now. An absolute prick to clean up, especially up in that corner up in there, but get in there with a little bit of 36 by hand, 36 grit sandpaper that is, just for clarification. But um, yeah, now I can uh, clamp those fellas into place and um, Probably have a bit of a clean up first because the shed's an absolute pigsty, but um, yeah, it's uh, 
ready to buzz those on. Alrighty, so we're making our way, getting these welded in. And that's just the plug welds with a few stitches on it, just to hold it in place before I go and fully weld it. Not the prettiest of welds, but I'll do the job. I uh, might do some time-lapse footage of me actually welding under here because, um, yeah, it's, it's very cramped and awkward. So, um, yeah, I'm usually not this bad of a welder, but it uh, is what it is, I suppose, when you're, you know, a few feet under the ground, but... Oh, under the car, not under the ground. Not under the ground just yet. But, um, yeah, that's uh, plug welds done and a few stitch welds. So that's all of that welding done. Still got a little bit more to do up there, but I'll do that when it's on the rotisserie and a little bit more just there. But I think for now, that'll hold it. Um, shouldn't have to worry about that falling off in a hurry. Ugh, try and spin you around. Put the light up. And uh, yeah, that's this side again just got a little bit more welding to do just up in that corner and a little bit down here where the trolley sits but, um, yeah that's pretty much them finished off for now I'll probably give them a little bit of a grind back um, just sort of knock the tops off of these welds and I'll finish these flat the plug welds um, but yeah, apart from that we can um, start on the next bit and I'll show you that in just a little bit. Alright, so now that we're out from underneath the car, what I'll be showing you is where I'll be doing my next set of plates. So, my next one all in 3mm, it's probably going to come about here. And it's going to follow all the way up through here, around the spring mount. And then all the way back down here. And then tie in somewhere around there so it sort of it overlaps this plate here and this plate here um, and yeah I probably might have to uh, whip out and get some more 3 mil plate because I think oh, I haven't got enough to do that but um, yeah that's um, that's what I'm planning to do next alrighty so I've got them all finished back as much as the uh, the words that I could do, so it's not looking too bad, I don't reckon. They should look pretty neat once they're all painted up. That's the front's all done for now. Probably a little bit more welding to do. There was one little pinhole in that plug weld and a little bit across the top that I still need to do. That didn't come up too bad, I reckon. Pretty neat, should blend in all pretty well. So, yeah. You can see those back ones pretty well now. A little bit more welding to do on them, but like I said earlier, I'll do that on the rotisserie. And all the, uh, the final clean up on them, so. Very happy with them. Alrighty, with the back side of the rail all sorted out now, I can focus my attention to the front side of the rail. Now, I've already made up my templates for all up through here, and I've sort of I sorted everything out to sort of where I want it to be. But before I go and make this piece up through here, I'm going to make this one up here, which this um, this strip will go on the inside of the rail. So. It'll go in behind this bit. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna cut this one out and I'll bend it around and I'll show you where this one goes.
All right, so we've got that one all made up, prepped up, painted with the Weld 3 primer. I've just put on some rust converter on the inside of this rail. Just letting that dry out, do its thing. And then I can hit that with the Weld 3 primer as well. This is the rust converter that I'm using. It's the Worth one, in case anyone was wondering. I find that one to be pretty, pretty good. Alrighty, so I've got all that all welded in now. It's come up looking not too bad. I don't think anyway. But yeah, the real main uh, important reason why I put this in as well as uh, the plates in the back side is because both of those plates are three mil thick. I've got one and a half mil in between them and that's sort of just sandwiched it all together. So that's now seven and a half mil thick um, through these areas here now. So yeah, I think that'll really beef that up because um, yeah, they are sort of the narrowest part on the rails now because the rails cut straight. So yeah, but um, what I'll do now is I'll, uh, I'm will i gonna start making up my pieces that will go in the front and the back of the rail and then that will also tie into these bits. So yeah, stay tuned. Alrighty, so I've just put some rust converter and some weld theory primer on these areas through here. Now, I did mention, um, I think in part one of this series, that I did put a plate in the back of the sill and the dog leg, which is this one right here. And basically what that is doing is that's tying in the dog leg to the inner sill. And then when I weld in this piece down here, that will come in through here and then that'll tie in the, um, the sill, the dog leg and the chassis rail all into one again, um, oh, and also the floor pan. So um, yeah, that's gonna make that area really strong um, instead of just, yeah, basically putting a bit of tin just in there and, um, and your bit of three mil just up until this point here. So yeah, that's, um, that's where we're at at the moment. So yeah, I've got these bits all ready to go. I'm just waiting for the Word 3 primer to dry out um, and then I'll get this one all clamped up. And um, yeah, then I'll buzz that one in. Alrighty, so I've got those front and back pieces all welded in finish down as much as I need to at the moment. Still got plug welds here to do and a little bit more uh, grinding here. I've only welded about this much um, down here. Might help if I actually film it. Um, and yeah, that's mainly because it's <clears throat> sort of got a weld up inside of here. So yeah, I'll probably do that once it's on the rotisserie. Um, and yeah, also got this one welded in as well. Small little stitch just there to sort of tie that bit into there, um, weld it across there, 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 and yeah, we'll finish back. So yeah, I'll probably take a little bit more out of just that top corner when it's on the rotisserie again, but um, yeah, that's uh, that'll do for now. Um, it's sort of, it's gotten me to a point now where I can now start um, looking at making up and starting to fit the, uh, the face of the rail. So yeah, that's, um, Pretty exciting, so yeah, that's so, um, so what I'm going to start doing now. All right, so I've just given this uh, inside the rail a bit of a rust treatment and some etch primer. It's looking not too bad, I don't reckon. I've also got the same uh, done to the infill piece that I've got fitting for it, so yeah, that's all ready to buzz in now um, after it's all clamped into place. Um, yeah, pretty happy with all of that. I reckon it looks pretty good. Um, that's one thing I might mention of is some people might go, well, why aren't you using Weld Through Primer on this because you're welding it on, but Weld Through Primer has really um, poor adhesion. So if you go and stick it onto something where it's not sandwiched together, um, it's not really gonna do its job. It's only just for, um, for lap welded areas, so Anything that's overlapped, that's where it's um, that's where it's good. Um, don't get me wrong; it is a good product, but for just spraying inside of um, of an area or a cavity, it's um, it's really that's not what it's designed for. So, for this, I've used the um, the one K etch primer, um, 
I can't remember this particular one, but I've been using it for, um, for quite some time. It's a Protec product. Um, yeah, I find it's really good. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I've stripped it off even years later um, and it's been clean underneath. So yeah, for inside of a chassis rail, I think it's, um, it's definitely the way to go. So yeah, just a little tip for you guys. All right, so I got all the welding and stuff done on this rail last night. I haven't ground it up or anything yet because I want to get the other side done to this stage as well, just so I can do all the grinding at the same time. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get all of that done um, and then edit all the footage and stuff over the weekend just while I've got a little bit of a break. So yeah, really happy with how this has turned out. Um, it's gonna look absolutely killer once it's all ground up. Obviously I've had the wheel and stuff fitted uh, before any of this was all fully welded just to check my clearances again. Everything looks really good. Um, yeah, super happy with everything. So yeah, very happy with it all. done with the MIG for now. This side's all welded up. Very happy with that. That should grind up very well. I've also had the wheels on and off to make sure that both sides are the same. So yeah, I'll uh, give them a bit of a grind up and uh, and that should be it for this one. All right, so we're all done on the rails for now. They're all finished off in metal. Ready for a bit of an etch prime now. So yeah, they've all been cleaned up pretty nice. Ooh, got hooked on the door. So look from inside the boat. And that's to suit my 32550 Nitto tyre on a 15 by 10 rim. So yeah, I'm going to chuck a bit of etch primer on them and then get the wheels on. And that's, uh, that'll be me done for tonight, I reckon. Thanks for watching guys, see you around next week, cheers.